One important way to fight climate change and to become a low-carbon society is to reduce carbon emissions by dramatically cutting back our energy consumption. We can reduce our energy consumption in many ways, like insulating our homes, for example. But how can we get millions of people to do that? Dr. Yael Parag from the IDC Herzliya and Dr. Catherine B. Janda from Oxford University investigated the way such changes can be facilitated. The common approaches to promoting such changes are called top-down and bottom-up. A top-down approach focuses on governments setting reduction goals or regulators defining standards. But this doesn't directly spur the public to take action. A bottom-up approach focuses on many energy consumers who might demand energy-efficient homes, but who are not well organized or aware of how to improve efficiency. Parag and Janda propose a middle-out strategy of change which focuses on middle actors. Middle actors, not the government, energy suppliers or energy users, are often overlooked, but can have a great influence on the way energy is delivered and consumed. Middle actors might include groups such as architects and building contractors who influence home infrastructure and even religious congregations that set norms of behavior. For example, building professionals such as architects are in a good position to provide guidance downstream to clients on energy saving options such as wall insulation. When formulating building regulations, governments consult and listen to experts in the field, such as architects, so they also exert influence upstream. Middle actors can also have sideways impacts on the market around them by teaching others how to make buildings more environmentally friendly. In light of the urgent and large-scale changes needed to stabilize the climate, we must take advantage of all actors and strategies for introducing new ideas, behaviors, and practices, whether top-down, bottom-up, or middle-out. Parag and Janda provide the analytical framework that recognizes overlooked groups of middle actors in different contexts and suggests strategies for engaging them to accelerate the transition to a low-carbon society.